Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel and it's so good to meet you all again in another new video. In this video, I'll be sharing uh, some tips on to how we can reduce weight only using our diet. Though I am uh, doing exercises right now, but these were the tips that I followed earlier. That is what I usually eat in a day. This may actually vary uh, from day to day because uh, every day is not uh, going to be a constant one. So I just alter my meals according to my taste and preference. You can also do the same. First thing I regularly drink in the morning is my detox. For today's detox, I'm going to be mixing three ingredients. That is one is palak, second one is coriander and then finally a kiwi. So you can mix any fruits and vegetables that you like especially i'm allergic to palak and beetroot so you have to be very careful to what you're allergic to as well detox preparation is very simple and even if you have a juicer it is just going to take five minutes or so since i'm using a blender i just chop in all my vegetables throw it into the blender add little amount of water and just blend it and strain it up and this is how i usually drink my detox because many uh, don't uh, prefer straining their juices so if you are a person who doesn't like to strain the juice you can drink it as well and drinking and detox juice in empty stomach will not only increase your digestion but also gives full nutrients that are present in the detox that you are drinking for the day and you can alter as i said and you can even add a squeeze of lemon juice at the end since i'm adding in kiwi the taste is perfectly balanced and you won't get any raw smell of the spinach as well and if you're a person who doesn't like to have greens in your empty stomach and if you don't like the raw smell you will really love it because the taste is heavenly and it is also great for your hair and skin so you can give it a try once one tip that I regularly follow is slow cooking and also using less amount of oil. Slow cooking not only enhances the taste but also the entire nutrients will be preserved in the food that you're cooking and I love to cook my meals only with slow cooking process. This actually consumes a little bit of time but the taste is just another level and if you're using high amount of oil you will have chances in having bad cholesterol in your body so it is always preferable to use less oil so the breakfast that i prepare today is dosa and mint chutney and even for chutneys cooking greens and everything i use slow cooking i usually have a lid on top and just cook it around for like five to ten minutes so that the entire raw smell will go off and the nutrients will also be consumed by the amount of water that you are adding in and that's it my breakfast is done and next thing is using low spices and ginger garlic paste because we Indians actually add a lot of spices in our cooking. To be very specific about the spices that is we use uh, in biryanis and in regular cooking as well the chili powder, coriander powder, everything. Yes, everything is good for our health but only during moderate usage. So ensure that you are having it in moderate and low quantity and next for fruit smoothies or like mid-morning snack along with my kid I usually have smoothies and Ridhan usually doesn't like to have plain milk and even I hate having plain milk so I just blend in a few bananas or like an apple into a blender adding a little bit of milk and honey and that's it my drink is done and usually I also consume a women's horlicks in the flavor caramel but uh, even if I go out of stock this is kind of a safe Year. and even when I have to feed my baby the smoothie I usually prepare another glass for me and for my husband also a lot amount of hydration is required for your body uh, for the entire process of digestion for the whole day so it is uh, recommended to have a lot of fruits vegetables and also drink water throughout the day to keep yourself hydrated this not only avoids uh, constipation but also gives you that uh, clear feel that is you don't feel like bloated or you don't uh, feel like overeating anything apart from that even after having all these if you feel hungry you can go for a piece of dark chocolate that is one trick that i usually follow and else i'll always prefer having a salad bowl and this salad bowl is going to consist of sprouted beans i'm not going to boil it just sprout it overnight and that's it uh, and ensure that the sprout is not overgrown it should be like intact and inside the seed itself so that you'll have all the nutrients and even when you're chewing it it will not be like you're chewing a lot amount of uh, sprouts so mm -hmm. always have that in mind and to this i'm going to add chopped coriander few onions and then uh, ground nuts and finally a little bit of uh, pepper and jeera powder and then a dash of lime juice that's it our salad bowl is ready you can even add pomegranate into it that will enhance the taste and also the flavor and this is again one of my favorite salad bowls and if you're going to have anything during intermittent fasting and this is going to help you a lot in digestion as well as you will have fuller stomach another combination that i usually have during the mornings is a glass of detox juice along with my salad bowl this is another perfect combination for a healthy and clean eating. 
eating next up for lunch i have chapatis and me being a south indian i don't prefer having rice i don't know why it started during my phase of pregnancy and i started having only chapatis and if you give me chapatis for the whole week the whole day i'm ready to eat i'm that kind of a person and uh, today for ch chapati i'm going to have uh, channa and baby corn sabji and that's it this is going to be my complete meal and yes i will feel hungry after this it's okay to have any kind of snacks because uh, i don't feel like uh, you have to eat something healthy and all so if i feel like eating a biscuit well and good i'll just go and have and only for the sake of my kid i'm preparing uh, different snacks during the evening else i'm just a lazy person so for uh, today's uh, evening snack i'm going to be preparing soup so for this soup it is very simple uh, just add in a dollop of butter and to this add ginger garlic onions and then any choice of your vegetable today i'm going to be preparing carrot and pumpkin soup this is extremely tasty and great for your skin and for the pune weather this keeps us really warm and cozy and even my kid likes it and as usual ridu will never give my tripod during the shooting and if he sees me filming a video he'll just snatch away my tripod that's the reason the camera is a little bit shaky so please do adjust with it and next just uh, after cooking it for like 5 minutes remove the lid and now add required amount of water and add salt and finally just pressure cook it for around like 3 to 4 whistles and before pressure cooking for any soup add a little bit of mint leaves this is going to be a great taste enhancer and also it increases your appetite to a great level and after just cooking it for like 5 to 6 whistles our soup is now ready just take out the vegetables and uh, let it cool down to room temperature then mash it in a blender and add required amount of water cream or milk anything that your baby loves i'm just going to add the leftover stock of the veggies and just blend it really well and give it to your kid and this is also a healthy snacking option and also ensure to prepare it in a consistency that your kid will like because ridan likes it to have it a little bit on a thicker side so i add only a little bit of uh, the vegetable stock and finally add in a dash of uh, jeera pepper powder and that's it our soup is ready sel slow va kudi cheri okay that's fine ridan no problem amma aprama eduthirren neenga kudinga wolf no dog fox very good wolf wolf irunga amma oru vaai tharen idu enna nu paathittu sollu enna idu tomas enna idu tas idu enna idu amma neenga enna saapidringa soup enna soup carrot soup amma onions onion soup nalla iruka amma soup dai appa da amma appa saapta Another tip that I like to share is increased soaking duration. This really works. And if you're going to prepare anything, let it be muesli, sambar, oats, whatever you're preparing, and whatever the thing that you're going to cook. example rice just soak it for around half an hour and the amount will also increase you can just notice it really well and for example today i'm preparing muesli and for muesli i'm just taking in like uh, like 2 to 3 tablespoons of it and adding little bit of milk and let it soak for around half an hour and just see the visible result whatever is present in the muesli let it be granola or the corn flakes anything that they have added into it will just rise up and it will become very fluffy and now using a fork just mash it together really well and add a little bit of milk again and you can serve this to your kid as well by adding in any natural or artificial sweetener this is a great way to kick start your day and even your kids will really like it because mostly kids won't like to have that crunchiness in their food so in order to give them a little bit of pureed or mash consistency this technique will really work out and not only for kids and uh, even for uh, adults when you're preparing sambar or rice or anything you can just soak in the pulse the grain whatever you're using for around like minimum half an hour Today I am preparing sambar, and for sambar I have already soaked in the sambar dal uh, for around one hour, and you can see how uh, big the dal size has become. So if you are cooking it like this, the amount will also increase, and the amount that you are using to soak will also decrease proportionally. So you can try this method, and uh, uh, for a dinner we usually have uh, like baked foods, idli. That's it. Uh, we don't usually go for pongal or anything heavy, especially rice during the nights, and I skip uh, using rice. especially for sambar i will require ghee at least 1 tablespoon so this is my heartful dinner for the night else what i use is the lapsi rava or samba godmai upma 
I usually prepare this at least twice a week and this is one of our family favorites. So for this as well I have soaked in the lapsi rava for around uh, 1 to 1 and a half hours and then you will get the quantity in a very large amount and even the cooking time will decrease. So now in a pan add in a little bit of oil, jeera, onions and then green chilies and you can add in any choice of your vegetables. I am going to be adding lot and lot of green veggies like capsicum, carrots, peas, potato even you can add and uh, this will enhance the taste. After all your vegetables are cooked, ensure to add around 3 to 4 tomatoes. This will be a great taste enhancer. And then finally, I'm going to be adding bell peppers and the soaked lapsi rava. And use the water that you have already soaked. So ensure to wash the lapsi rava very well and then soak it for around like 1 to 1 and a half hours. And now you can just uh, add in a little bit of salt and required amount of water if needed. And then pressure cook it for around like 3 whistles. That's it. This is uh, generally equal to the amount of time that you cook your rice or your basmati Rice. and the taste and fragrance would be just amazing and uh, I used uh, this uh, lapsi rava or godamai rava for my kid when he was around like five to six months I used to soak it and just squeeze the milk out of it and cook it and give it to for my kid and if you haven't watched those uh, videos all those videos are in the playlist uh, section so if you are can just go and have a check on it and that is also a great uh, start for your babies to have uh, solid foods and uh, now our lapsi rava upma is ready this not only is looking appetizing but also the taste is just wonderful and as I said always ensure to have a lot amount of water throughout the day to keep you hydrated and this will also give you a glowing skin and if you are a person who knows about intermittent fasting you will know the importance of water because water will not only keep you hydrated but also it will eliminate the effect of being bloated or having any kind of dizziness etc so always ensure to have a good meal throughout your day and clean eating is also important for your weight loss so if you have enjoyed watching this video don't forget to subscribe to my channel and i'll meet you all soon with another new video bye